Hey guys and welcome back to another F1 2018 video. We are going to be continuing our career mode where the next race I believe is the Chinese Grand Prix. So yeah, let's continue our career. Not too sure why it's showing us Bahrain because we did complete the Bahrain Grand Prix so hopefully our The last one saved. If not, then I'm gonna be a bit disappointed. I'm pretty sure I saved it. Because auto save is a. Uh, oh. It says next weekend is the Barring Grand Prix. Interesting. So I'm guessing it didn't save? Okay then. Um. Hmm. Why wouldn't it save? Oh, we did save. My bad. That was weird. It said, like, continue to the barring Grand Prix or something, so... Anyways, it did save properly, and we are going to be doing the Chinese Grand Prix for this weekend. We are going to be skipping to Quickshot Qualifying. The new parts have arrived from the factory without issue. They'll be fitted to the car in time for the next session. Okay, those uh, upgrades are equipped to the car, so that's good. So we have 732 resource points, so we'll keep that for now, and we'll skip to qualifying. Let's see if these uh, parts on our car has made our car even faster. One thing I have forgotten again to do is up the difficulty, I do apologise. I'm not too sure if I can change it now, let me see. I might be able to, but let me see, um, F6. Yeah, I'm not too sure if I can change it or not. So I'll try to do that for the next race and make sure it ha actually happens this time. So they will apologize. So let's go back to our uh, qualifying and let's advance. So obviously the last race was a bit easy. So that's why I'm saying that we do need to up, uh, up the difficulty. But this is one of the tracks that I'm not We'd like to welcome you from wherever in the world you join us today for this F1 qualifying session here in Shanghai, China. I was about to say that this is not one of my favorite tracks, so we'll see how we go for this one. So yeah, let's go to the track. Seems like it's gonna rain uh in the race potentially, so that would be interesting. Oh. oh, oh, let me just restart that. For some reason, my uh, wheel wasn't uh, working for some reason. As soon as I turned, it started working, so yeah, let's just restart that. Okay, now it seems fine. I really hate this first corner. The rest of the lap's actually pretty fun to drive. Especially that long uh, straight, back straight. I think this is full cross though. I don't actually lost that much time and we're actually gain, gaining now so that's interesting. Let's put the ERS on. I 
can't really see the corners very well because um, it's very uh, foggy for me. Uh, it's just because of the bad weather, I guess. Sorry about that. Just wasn't our day. 50 is okay. I'll take it. Probably gonna got pole quite easily, but obviously, um, the grid is all set then for the race tomorrow. But before we go, let's quickly remind ourselves of our top three, who are Hamilton, Vettel, and Daniel Ricciardo. The grid is set then, so that just leaves the race itself. Join us tomorrow, where we'll be live with all the action. And until then, it's goodbye. I did out qualify Boss? So Boss didn't really have a good drive there. Alonso in eighth, not bad. Magnussen in tenth, and obviously. Our teammates in second place, so our car definitely has the pace to win. But the Mercedes did qualify in pole, so great work out there today. How do you think it went? Um, let's see. It's the start of the season. How do you think things are going to go for you? Yes, we'll go for the title. You didn't practice much this weekend. Are you saving your car for the race? Appreciate your time. We should definitely give him more time to, for, to, for us to uh, answer those questions. Especially when we have four long options to choose from. But we are going to the Chinese Grand Prix. Hopefully it's a dry race. If it is a wet race then um, that's going to be very interesting. Tough luck there. It's not quite where we'd want to be on the grid, but chin up, it's not the end of the world. And let's advance. So I believe we are third place in the championship behind Lewis Hamilton and Bottas, but we're only a few points behind, so ideally we want to beat both of them. Hard work, ingenuity, and ambition. All things you'll find in abundance amongst the 15 million people of Shanghai over there to our southeast. And we've got plenty of that here on the grid as well. 20,000 horsepower, give or take, chomping at the bit to be unleashed for the Chinese Grand Prix. We start a lap here at Shanghai with the long, difficult right-handers of turns one and two, the first of 16 corners that make up this 3.3-mile circuit. The incredibly long back straight provides the best passing opportunity of the lap, with speeds in excess of 200 miles per hour before the braking zone of turn 14. Also here, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Let's talk about Baxter. They're still relatively new to a sport which does have a high learning curve and, of course, little tolerance for mistakes. And this is something that has ended the career of many a young driver, as that leap up to Formula 1 proves to be too much. But, luckily, in this case, I'd say they're doing a good, solid job, and the risk the team took in signing them is definitely starting to pay off. We're almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, with Sebastian Vettel starting alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Ricardo, Verstappen, Baxter, and Bottas, Alonso, Sainz, Magnussen, and Stoffel van Dorn, Perez, Ocon, Charles Leclerc, and Gasly, Hartley, Hulkenberg, Sergei Sorokin, and Marcus Ericsson, Grosjean. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Lance Stroll rounds off the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Okay, he wants us to just get top 10, so... That's interesting. I would have thought he would try to get us on the podium because we are fighting for the championship. For the best start. On the outside. Like the Vettel lost a spot, which is not great. Oh, it's happened. 
so I recall that. Horsepower to overtake a Mercedes quite easily. I'm not too sure the braking spot is here, so we do run a bit wide. Oh, we're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the softs. Pit window already. Like we just started a race, oh god that's not good. Like we just started a race, so... I think we're gonna come in the pits already, like that's really early. But I think it tells us that a few laps before we actually go into the pits. That's my guess. Something about, I don't know, I think our teammates or something. Couldn't forgot to read, so I think our teammates are retiring or something. I did see a red car right at the back of the grid, so let me just check the map. Man, I think our team is doing very well. Sebastian stopped his race is over. Oh, that's not good. Sebastian Vatila is retired. So all hopes are on us now. It's not really good for the championship, but it's good for our rivalry. I mean, uh, obviously Vettel is our rival, so we are gonna be busy him no matter what happens, unless we retire too. I literally have no grip on this first corner. The fact that I'm driving really poorly and still increasing my lead shows how that we do definitely need to uh, increase the AI driver level. I think I put my uh, wheel on the white line and I spun. Oh! Well, Ricardo's in second spot, so I don't know what happened to Lewis Hamilton. And Boris is in third, so maybe Lewis and uh, Vettel are uh, colliding with each other or something, I don't know. Obviously, Vettel's out the race, so. So, Boris is in third and Hamilton probably fourth or fifth, so. In terms of the championship, it's good for that Ricardo's in second spot. I think we need to break the 50 uh, meter marker board. Push now. We're boxing this lap. Oh, we're going into the pits already, huh? Well, it's only a 14 lap race, so I guess makes sense.
across this lap. Keep an eye on your distance to the speed limit line as you approach, and make sure you don't speed. I think these tires have had better days. Grip is completely gone from these tires, that's for sure. No wonder we're going on lap 4 in the pits. That's a much better braking spot. Still a bit wide, but our tires are not great. Straight into the pits. For a quick uh, tire change. We did have to wait for uh, who was that? A uh, Red Bull to get into the pits before it let us go, so we did lose a bit of time there, but we did have a big enough lead anyway. Most of the cars ahead of us will probably put in this lap, so we should take the lead again. And as we call it, it goes like 5 to 10 seconds a lap faster than us now, and he overtakes us, but that's unlikely to happen. I don't see how fast we can go in a straight line, but we're not going to get the chance to uh, get behind. Oh, whoa, that's a bit wide. Get behind another car to use our VRS, so that is a bit unfortunate. As all the cars go into the pits, we take the lead. And we do. Oh, we got a really wide there. The gap behind us is 6.7 seconds. Boss is in, uh. No, oh, Ricardo's still in second, that's good. Kinda of feel like these upgrades to the cars made the car worse to handle. So I'm sure there's a lot handling a lot better in Bahrain. Maybe that's just the track. Doesn't see our cars well. It's getting a bit dark now, so it potentially it could rain, and that would make it a lot interesting to be fair, so I kind of want the rain to come. So that first corner was a lot better.
car definitely feels a lot better now that he has uh, less fuel on board, so... Maybe our car wasn't handling as good with uh, a heavy fuel load at the beginning. But now it seems a lot better. Corner was uh, coming up a bit earlier than I thought. That was the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. We're all halfway through the race and we still got I think six laps left, six seven laps left, so and this way we are probably gonna win by a country mile but you never know if the rain comes. Could make it a bit more even. Hopefully the tyres last because I don't want to go in the pits again. Unless the grip completely goes and we probably have to. To be fair, I think we can go in the pits and still come out in first anyway, so I think it's all good. Too busy looking at the tires. That's the wrong screen. 
There we go. Oh, tires are actually really bad. Wow. Only on 22%. That looks like we have to go in the pits. I know with the all F1 games like this, if you were driving with 26% uh, tires, then there will be no crit at all, basically. I mean, you would have to come into the pits. We do have five laps of fuel remaining. Oh, did Boss retire? Oh, wow. How is Alonso in third spot? No way. This is not realistic at all. Seems like Alonso is going to get a podium in this race, which is amazing in a McLaren. Considering this track has a, a very, very long straight. That McLaren is in pretty good if Alonso is in third spot or he's actually uh, driving insanely in that car, which you know he can do. But yeah, Bottas has retired, which is good for the championship. Vettel is retired, which is not good for the team, but good for me, I guess. So I can beat him quite easily. Even though we were beating him anyway. Oh, it's wide. Yeah, that's boss uh, that parked the car on the side of the road. No idea what happened to him. Maybe engine failure. Or problem with the car itself. But yeah, Ricardo second and Alonso third. Imagine if it starts raining. Oh, that's good. Oh. If it starts raining now, Alonso could probably beat. Harder, I guess, maybe. That's a corner cut. Season track limits. We do have three laps left, though. First, um, Vettel had an issue and he retired, and Boss, and now uh, Verstappen. Okay, we're 28 seconds ahead of second spot, so. I think that's more down to the fact that um, there's a Red Bull in second spot and not a Ferrari or Mercedes. Catching uh, Verstappen. I did see a blue dot on the map. Either we're gonna lap him or he's going really slowly. Yeah, you can see the blue dot on the HUD now. I'm pretty sure that's a uh, red ball. Obviously, there's a few cars which is a uh, blue color. For example, like the Toro Rosso and the Red Bull. So, I'm not too sure which one this. Probably uh, the Red Bull because the Stefan did have a problem, and it seems like he's driving very slowly. Can't quite go full, uh, full throttle there in terms of uh, not breaking at all, but I think our tyres were better than we would be able to. Mm. 
coming to the end of the penultimate lap with one lap to go. And you can't even see uh, Ricardo on the HUD, literally. Couple sectors though, so I guess that's down to the fuel and not the actual fact that I'm actually driving good. So our tires are completely gone. Seems like the weather has cleared up towards the end of the race as well, so no rain at all, which is a bit unfortunate. To be fair, the end part of the track is a lot more darker, so as you can see, all the clouds. Our gap behind is 34.8 seconds. That's a crazy gap. Alonso is still in third spot, so hopefully he can keep and get a podium. That would be that would be amazing if we could do that. Great points for McLaren. Maybe they developed their car quite decently. That's why Alonso is up there. Obviously, Vettel uh, and Boz has retired, so that will help. We are actually closing into closing into the car ahead of us, but we don't have enough laps, unfortunately. What car is that? I think that's a William. That's not a Verstappen. Maybe Verstappen is a uh, we call it retired. Would have been cool to lap a car, but I guess not. And that's victory. Two in a row. That's the race win. A great win then for the Marinello team today. And I have to wonder, Anthony Davidson, just what set them apart from the competition here? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs, and that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximise the strategy, and to stay out of trouble. Oh, Max has something got fifth. I thought he uh, so, had a problem. So here they come now, out onto the podium. Wherever you go, anywhere in the world, the prancing horse flags are dominant in the grandstands, and they're out in force again today. It's Ferrari on the top step once more. I think Alonso coming in third spot is a lot more better. Great drive by Alonso. I wonder if that could happen in real life. It's probably never gonna happen, let's be honest. And after this round of the World Championship, Here's how things look in the driver's table. Baxter takes over the lead of the driver's championship. Moving on to the driver of the day then. Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? Well, after a drive like that, it's got to be Nico Hülkenberg, hasn't it? Very clean, very smooth. He can be really pleased with that one. And now let's take a look at the constructors' standings. Ferrari move to the top of the table. Meanwhile, a strong weekend from Red Bull this time out, and they improve their position in the championship. It was great having you with us for this weekend. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Until next time, though, goodbye. Okay, Vettel and Boss retired. Lewis Hamilton finished 10th. And uh, Alonso got a podium, so that's very uh, realistic. Look at the standings. We have we are first place in the championship. Drivers and constructors, so that's very good. To be fair, Red Bull have overtaken Mercedes in terms of the cha uh, constructor championship, so... That's interesting. Maybe it will be a three-way fight for the championship in our career mode. Great work out there today. How do you think it went? You're leading the championship. Are you happy to be there or feeling the pressure? How are you feeling after that win? You gained a lot of positions during the race, didn't you? We didn't get in any positions actually. You must be thrilled to be up on the podium.
appreciate your time. Well, it started in P. Actually, we, we didn't start in P1, did we? We started in fifth. My bad. I was thinking we did qualify Paul and just won the race, but we didn't. We started in fifth spot, so I guess we did gain quite a lot of uh, what do you call it positions at the start. Gained a bunch of reputation though, damn. That's huge. Fantastic podium. Well done. Keep pushing like this for the rest of the season. We've received invitations to new historic events. You'll be able to choose whether or not to participate before the end of this weekend. We got a Red Bull 2010 uh, Pursuit. I might do that in the next video, so I'll send you for that. And a Time Attack in a 1972 Team Lotus. Probably won't do that, but the first one, Pursuit, I probably will. But yeah, uh, let's go to F6. The R&D tree. Um, we should upgrade some stuff. Chassis. Yeah, I think aero would be good. How much does this cost? 480. Let's do that. Let's go back. Uh, can we, we do this? How much is this? 1050 so we need more resources into that but that'll do for now uh hopefully you guys enjoy that one if you did give it a like share with your friends and i'll see you in my next video bye guys